Hi everyone, Happy New Year. It's Christy with Thrift Addict. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I have a huge thrift haul for you today. It's been a little while since I've done a video. I am a full-time teacher and I coach a dance team in a high school, so that keeps me really busy in football season. Um, they perform at every game, and so we are super busy. And for Thanksgiving, I took them to New York to perform in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade which was super fun but that just meant we were just full force all the way in to Thanksgiving break so I just got a chance to kind of step back into my reselling business and start working it and adding more to my closet so even though I kind of stepped away and didn't really post much for sale I still had some sales um, which that's another thing I love about reselling is even though I had to step away for a little bit because I was busy, I still was making income off of work I did, you know, at the beginning of the school year. So, um, but that's just one of the reasons why I love doing this because it works with my crazy schedule. So anyways, enough about that. I hope you all had a great Christmas and a happy New Year's Eve and um, excited to see all the new things that are coming for everyone in 2020. So I'm going to show you um, a huge thrift haul. Some of it I have already listed because I felt like that was kind of priority before my video. But and then I, I ended up selling it actually the last few days like New Year's Eve and the day before that I have just there have been things like coming in and right out of my closet. So that's been super nice. So I hope that momentum keeps going because I really like that. But I want to show you some really great finds. And normally I have this organized by like a certain thrift store I found it at or maybe by style. But this time it's just kind of like everything all over out of order. So I'm just going to show you as it's hanging and just go through it as quickly as I can because there's a lot. But there's some really neat stuff that I found and I'm excited to show you and it's just been waiting here. So without further ado, I want to get started. Okay, so I found these. I think I've got these at Goodwill. Yes, because they mark in it. Um, they are free people. You can see the tag. And they were $4, but they still have the tag on it. And they have some intentional distressing, if you can kind of see it, if it's not washing it out. And the frayed hemline shorts. So just in time for me to kind of get these listed for people who are doing spring break coming up in a few months. Feels like it'll be here before we know it, even though it's just January. But I think that these um, are really cute. And they have a little detail going down the side and around the pockets, if you can see, like a threaded design. So I thought those were really cute and they were regular $88. So I'm hoping at least half, I get at least half for those. So I was excited to find those and pay $4. This is a fun item and I think I only paid, um, it was half off. So I only paid a little over a dollar for it at Goodwill because their orange tags were half off. So I know I got it off the half off right, but look at the cute rainbow stripes on the back pockets. I, um, and then it's just button fly and it's just a cute little mini skirt and I think it would be cute for a festival or something like that. The rainbow stripes on the pockets give me like the 70s vibe and I just love that. It is Forever 21 so not like a huge brand but I didn't pay a lot for it and I think someone would like it. Um, like I said, great for festival or something like that. So I don't know, maybe not a lot, maybe around 20-ish for that. I found this one recently. I did pay full price for this. Um, I think it was $3, which is still not bad. Sneak Peek is not a brand I've really heard of. So I picked this basically because I loved the embroidery on it. Again, I thought it would be cute for festival. And it's a cute little mini skirt. This one kind of is an A-line. It goes out. So, and this is a size small. So really cute little mini skirt, blue jean mini skirt. Um, I've heard that skirts don't do that well for some people, but... I haven't really tried it yet, so I'm always up to try something new. This I actually found a little while ago. It is very small, but you can probably tell it's Lily Pulitzer. So um, it's a cute little skirt. You know, it's got the built-in shorts underneath. Okay, you can see that. So, but it is like a little mini skirt, and it is a size zero. But here's the tag. Just the pink Lily Pulitzer tag, but I thought it was a, a cute, really fun, bright print, and someone might really like that. 
This I actually picked up for my daughter. It's too big for her now, but it's persnickety. It's one of those um, brands that I love to get for her, the, the boutique stuff. It's super cute. I'll have to find a little sweater or something to go with that. But um, I, I do try to resell a lot of her boutique stuff after she's done with it. And I don't get it as much anymore now that she's five. She's getting a little older. I don't put her in that as often. But every once in a while, if I find it for a good price, and I think I pay maybe three bucks for this. I don't remember. Um, well, let me see. No, it's four dollars. It's written in it. Um, but every once in a while, I'll get it because I just still think it's super cute. These, I really love. These shorts. Um, these are a size large, but they almost fit me, and I'm typically like a medium sometimes small just depending on the brand and I don't know what this brand is I did try to look it up and I want to say it's a possible anthropology brand. it has like the birdcage anthropology brand I don't know why I couldn't say that but they're really cute and they have the bow knot detail on the side so I'm kind of trying to decide if I'm going to keep these for my own closet or if I'm going to sell those. I guess it depends on the comps. If the comps are not great, I'll probably keep them and then resell them later down the road um, after I use them a little bit. That way it's worth worth it, you know. Um, this right here I just picked up the other day. It is a Nike puffer vest. You can see I paid $5 for it. I kind of debated on it because it's a shiny material. And I know that the puffer vests are really popular, especially for people who like to run and work out. And um, I always see people wearing the Lululemon ones around here. So uh, I kind of went back and forth on it. But I ended up getting it because it did have some good comps. There weren't a lot, but it was good. And it's got all these pockets like literally everywhere for storage for like when you're working out or running. Um, so I, I thought I'd give it a try. You know what? And I'm not, I'm not going to be sad if it doesn't sell because I would probably wear that too. Also found some Lululemon, which I hardly find. It's so rare. I do see it every once in a blue moon, but I've actually found some pieces lately. So um, this one I think is pretty nice. And see, there's the logo there on the back. It doesn't have a tag inside, but I'm based off of what I typically wear. I like to wear a six. I would say that this would be like an eight and ten. So I listed it as a large because I think that's probably what it is um, because the tag is cut out, but it's that pretty marble. And I forget the name of this top. I did list it and I, I did have the name of it listed, but it's got the mesh back and the key hole. So I sold one of these in a smaller size with the black flower print and I listed it and sold within minutes and I think I sold that one for like $35 and I always wondered if I priced it too low. Um, maybe it was just the certain print, but I don't know. I'm going to price that one a little higher and see because it is a bigger size. This is a Lorna Jane top and um, I'm new to her brand. I've kind of found out about it when I picked up some leggings and had to to find what it was because all it had was the three little designs like that on them and it didn't have a tag in it. So I kept them for myself and I like love them. They're super comfy and now I have a couple pieces of my own. But this is new with tags and I know it retails for a lot. Is, is it a European brand? Now I can't remember where they make it but this is the Tanya Mesh Tank size large, and um, again, I have it listed. It's really cute, and it kind of has a keyhole in the back. So, um, again, I won't be sad if it doesn't sell because I kind of want to keep that. This right here is another Lululemon top, and I don't have this listed for super high because it is an older style, like a fitted style, but these are still great for people who like to do yoga or Pilates, and it's a pretty pink color with the gray, and there is the size. Um, I'm sorry, the logo on the back, but it's got this insert where you can put padding in. There's no padding, but it's also got the adjustable part where you can change the size around under the bust area so it can be more fitted and more supported. Um, so yeah, I think the size on this was a 12, 10. So yeah, so size 10 on that. So a lot of these are kind of the same sizing. So that's good. Maybe I'll get somebody that wants to bundle them. This here I picked up. This is Kalia 
by Carrie Underwood. I think that's how you say it, Kalia. I don't know. But that's what her logo looks like. So I recognize it now because I've picked up a tank before. But this is an athletic skirt. And I um, it's in great condition. And this is a size large, I believe. Yes, it still has the tags in it, thank goodness. So I know what size it is. And yeah, it looks like it was barely worn. So I've already got that one listed. And this one, I think I'll just um, sell it for about 25, hopefully, is what I have it listed at. And I think I've got this one listed for like 26. This one I have it listed higher because I think it retails for around 90 or more. <laughs> it's a lot for a little tank top. So I have it listed about half off retail. So I'm hoping for that. And then um, I want to say I have this listed for 45, but you know, I'm always open to some offers because, but there were no other ones like it. So I thought, well, maybe it's rare and I just luck out and somebody will want that one. This is another cute skirt, which I never wear athletic skirts, but this one I could see myself wearing. It is a cute, like gray color and it is Athleta size medium. Again, looks like it's barely worn, has the little slanted zippers on the front. And of course the skirt. It's a skirt. I keep saying skirt, but it's like a tennis skirt, you know. But skirt because it has the shorts underneath. Again, I think these have a listed around 35. I'm hoping for around 35 on those. I know Athleta is a little more sought after than this one. Um, I found. Oh, and I'm not telling you what I paid for everything. Oops. I think I paid. This one was 3.99. The black one, I think I paid three dollars for. Um, oh goodness, this tank maybe only a few dollars. I've had it kind of a while. This I think I paid three ninety nine. I'm surprised they didn't have it marked up. But see, they don't know what it retailed as because somebody ripped the price off. If they would have seen that it retailed for that much, they would have marked like this up for fifteen dollars at the thrift store I go to now. They used to have really good prices, and now they're starting to mark things up. And then this top. Oh, goodness. I think the tops at Goodwill are like $3. And then this one I paid $3, and I just got this recent at a Goodwill in, um, in another town. And it's like a nicer town, <laughs> bigger town, I guess I should say. But it's a Lululemon. I don't know if they ever wore it. Look at the tag. It's like in pristine condition. And it's a size 12 regular. And again, I did not find this. Um print or any other like it, but I, I was able to find it on Lulu Fanatic, so I do have the name of the skirt. Might be the Pace Revival in multi-something blue. Now, <laughs> now I can't remember. So I did price this one up too, just in case it was one of those rare ones. But again, you know, we'll see um, how long I have it and how it goes and all that. But it's a good size too, so super cute. So excited to find all that, Lululemon. Okay, this piece here, it's nice and sparkly, and I probably should have put it up before the holidays, but I've had this piece um, in my e eBay store forever, and I kind of forgot about it because I don't do a lot of clothing over on eBay unless it's vintage or a more mature brand, I guess you could say, but I decided to cross-list it on Poshmark, so I got it back out again and had to steam it a little because it had been in the bag, but it is, um, is it Michael... Star, I think it is, and it still has the tag on there. Now, the price was cut off, so I don't know what it cost um, retail, but I do know that it has a pretty good retail value because I've looked it up before. But the pictures that I have on eBay are not very good. They're kind of yellowy. It's before I got better lighting. So I'm going to try to um, take better pictures and relist and see how this does on Poshmark and then put the new pictures on eBay as well. But um, I'm hoping around 25 on that. We'll see. This is another one. Apparently, I bought some stuff way back when I was selling on eBay before Poshmark. Um, so, we're talking before May. And I guess I bought some stuff and hung it up and stuck it in my husband's office closet and forgot that it was in there. So, I came across like a handful of pieces <laughs> that I had purchased to sell and this is one of them. And it's just... Um, I guess I put it away because it needed ironing or steaming and I just, I hadn't had a steamer yet and I didn't want to deal with ironing it so I stuck it away. But it's Jolt and it, the reason that I got it, even though I paid $4 for it, that is because it was new with tags and it's from the buckle. And um, it's regular $34 so 
Uh, I don't know that I'm going to get a lot for it, but it's a cute piece and maybe somebody can add it to a bundle. Oh, hi, Nola. This is my puppy. Um, this piece I got recently at a local thrift store and it's an anthropology Akami and Kim. I don't know, know how to ever say that, but that's the tag. And I liked this one. I didn't look up comps for it really, but um, I think I paid, see they marked this one $2.99. Sometimes their tops are $3.99, sometimes $2.99. So I thought for that price I would get it and try it out. It's a longer like, oh my goodness, it's like a dress. I thought it was a shirt. Now that I look at it, if you're like my height, I'm like almost 5'4". Yep, yeah, this is a dress. Okay, so even better. I like it. It's really cute, nice. Um, lightweight fabric so I have no idea maybe 25 or 30 for that okay this is another skirt that I got a while back and it was on the half off rack at Goodwill so what is that $1.50 I think their skirts are three dollars at this Goodwill um, it is a free people size 4 I think that's an older tag if I'm not mistaken but I know pleats are really popular and they're, you know, becoming popular back in style again. And the embroidery on it is really pretty. And I think it would look cute with a little cardigan or a little um, tucked in top. So I, I grabbed it for $1.50. I thought maybe around $20, $25 for that. Okay, these are fun. So I got these at a Goodwill out of town. It's J brand. And I've heard about people picking up this brand in jeans. Okay, well, I love a black and white stripe, and although they are on pants, which makes it really kind of wild, I thought that these would be great. Like in an office, you could like put a black um, jacket with it and a, a nice white top to tone it down, or even a color, but you know, just to make it more fun if you have to dress up in the office instead of being boring all the time. Well, I think they're really pretty, and I like it. I did pay $4.99 for them, so I'm hoping that they sell. Um, I did look up the comps there, and there wasn't a whole lot. I think they were all over the place, but I've had these a little bit. Shame on me for not getting them listed, but like I said, kind of been busy, so I like them. They're cute. Not my size, so I can't keep them, so somebody's got to find them and love them. This right here I got on the half off rack, and I don't know, it's the Akimi, Akimi and Kim. I know I'm butchering that, but you guys know. It's an anthropology brand again, and it's a huge oversize because this is a, it is a size medium. So, um, obviously, I'm a size medium most of the time. Look at how big this is. So, it's a huge oversized, like, hoodie. It's got the kangaroo pouch in the front, okay, hood in the back terry cloth on the inside. I don't know. I thought for people who um, just want to throw something on over a long sleeve shirt, like a workout shirt, and just need a cover up, that this is great. I mean, I don't know. I just thought it was fun. And um, I think it was probably $1.50. So not bad. It's a heavy, thick piece. So definitely keep you warm if you have to throw it on over like a Lululemon long sleeve top. So maybe around $20, $25 for that. This, um, also, it was on the half-off rack at Goodwill. I just got this the other day. It doesn't have a tag in it, so I'm going to guess this is a small based on how it, it looks. Um, I think I'm going to just keep this and maybe crop it a little bit. I don't like super crop stuff, but I think I might keep that just because there's no size or anything. Um, has this tag, but anyway, um, if I did sell it, I don't know that it would go for that much, so... I may just keep it. We'll see. Um, this is a soft surroundings top, and I find it quite a bit, and I think I've sold um, only like two or three soft surrounding pieces, but this one I thought was a really pretty blue, and it has, it's a really long like tunic, and it has the sheer at the bottom, and the longer, um, the longer hem at the back. This is a size medium, so it does kind of look oversized to me. Yeah, it's for sure too. There's no way um, that is a dress. This has got the rolled up button sleeve, and I paid $2.99 for it. And it's just got that pretty embroidery, kind of like Aztec look, but it's like blue on blue, so it's subtle too, but it gives it a little something extra. So I know um, that there is a following for soft surroundings, and maybe it will do better on eBay. So we'll just 
try it at both places and see. Maybe around 30-ish, 30, $35 for that, hopefully. This is actually something I picked up for myself because I'm not sure on the resale of something like this, but Diane Rich, it's just a vintage shirt and it. I felt like silk, but it's a polyester, so it's got that silky feel to it. And I love floral, so I don't know, I thought it would be cute tucked in. <laughs> Um, but I may wear it a little bit and then sell it later. I think it's super cute. Um, don't know what I paid for that. I think that I got this at the thrift shop that their shirts are $2. So this is my second rails shirt. Um, the other one sold for $35. I don't know about this print, if it's going to be as popular as the other one. So we'll have to see, but it's a size medium. So it is a bigger size. I think the other one I had was like an extra small. Um, I do need to get my sweater shaver after it. Um, it's got some peeling a little bit, but I think I can take care of that. It's not bad. It's a really pretty, I don't know if it's coming across. You can see the blue, but it's also got kind of a lavender color and a green in it. So it makes it um, a, a fun color for like the spring, even though it's still cold. So you can still wear like a long sleeve flannel. Okay. Um, this is BCBG Maxa. Um, I really just bought this for myself. Look, it's got this balloon sleeve, but I loved the embroidery and the detail. So I'm probably just gonna keep this because I don't think the resale on it is great. It was $3. Cute little button detail though. Um, I like it. Another free people. Um, I think this is a dress. I did look this one up. Where's the tag? I know it's free people. No, 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 no. Oh, in the bottom. Because the this is the back obviously <laughs> wouldn't be the front but this is the back there's the tag and this was also on the half off rack so their dresses I think are five dollars so I paid 250 and that's not bad and I think I saw some sell for around 25 30 but it's just a fun flowy long sleeve free very free people cute cute okay I told you I have a lot <laughs> Um, Talbot's. This is a Talbot's jacket and it's at 18. Um, so I wanted it because it was plus size and the tweed I thought was really nice and it has these pretty buttons on it. And I don't know. I just like the frayed pockets. I do need to trim that a little bit. Um, it's in pretty good condition and I wanted more plus size items. I only have like two in there now and I wanted to be able to get some more so people could bundle. And I know people love their Talbot's and my sister used to love that. Um, when she was a businesswoman, so I thought this would be a great piece for someone. And then I also picked up this jacket. I don't pick up a lot of jackets, so I do have a few I need to list. But this one is an anthropology brand, and I liked it. it um, since spring is coming up, it's very springy to me. I think this one is a large, yep. Yeah. And it is um, just that. I can't read some of this script. Isabella Sinclair. So yeah, it needs, um, it's got a little bit of peeling right here, so I need to sweater shave it. And I saw some listed really high, like around $50. So maybe if I price mine a little more competitively, it'll sell. I like it. It's very cute. This top I actually got, um, it's in great condition. It's not a very good hanger. I'll take it off. It's in great condition. It's a little knit sweater. Um, and I thought it was awfully small. But look how cute. The stars, they're like the gold studded stars. But I thought it was really cute and I wanted to get it and I thought, how is this a medium? It says MG. Which... But then I realized as I was looking it up, it's a junior's because it says JR underneath and I just didn't catch that. So it is a junior sizing. I paid $2.99 for it. I probably won't get more than like $20, $25 off for that, but I still think it's super cute. This right here, I picked up a bunch of dresses at one place. Um, I don't know if somebody just got rid of their whole closet or if I just, nobody else was buying dresses and I just hadn't looked there because this is at a Goodwill. It is in our neighboring town, but it's a further out Goodwill and it's smaller and I don't typically go over there. So when I hit it up that day, I just found dress upon dress and I had to put a bunch back in fact. And tons of them were anthropology. So it might have been the same person um, but this one is fee, fee, fi, <laughs> fee, fi, fo, fi, I don't know, but I want to say this is anthropology. It's been so long since I've looked it up now. I can't remember. 
Um, this is a size 8, and um, it's cotton and spandex, but it was really cute, and I know the comps looked good, and that's why I kept this one, but it has pockets, and I don't know, it's just like a sheath dress, and it has that ruffle, and then that kind of goes in a V in the back. I need to steam it, obviously, but I thought it was really cute, and I think their dresses are $5 as well, so maybe I can get around 30 for that, hopefully. This, I got at the same Goodwill, and it is the um, cabby, cabby, cabby top, and this one, the reason I got it, I know it's a tank, and so normally I just wouldn't pick up a tank unless it was super special, but the tassels are cute. It is new with tags, originally $45, so I don't know, maybe around, um, hopefully like $25, because it looks like I paid $5 for it, so I don't know, but it's really cute. Size? large on that one and then I found this at the other Goodwill in the neighboring town it is a size small and I really like this one it's a chiffon print and it's really a pretty pretty colors um it's like a double layered chiffon and then the back has this kind of v detail like open back I don't know it's just really pretty made and I like the little cap sleeve it's very it's it's sleeveless but yet it's a little bit of a cap sleeve I don't know what those are called, but I'm hoping for around $25, $30 on that. This might be my first Eileen Fisher top that I've ever found, in, or Eileen Fisher in general. There it is right there. And it is a small, and it's just a little blue and white, kind of nautical striped print sweater that I love and I want to keep. <laughs> it was only $2.99. So I'm hoping the comps are pretty good on this. Um, I think it'll sell $30 easily. I, I'm gonna look it up and see what I can get, but it's super cute. This, I also picked up, um, I did pay more for this. It. So I'm hoping that this one will sell. It is kind of fancy, but it is Lily Pulitzer, and it's not typical of what I see of her stuff. Um, cause you know her stuff is usually like that skirt kind of bright and, but this is a more, um, kind of fancy piece with the, the shiny thread and the kind of bubble sleeves and it's got the cold shoulder. Um, I think this would be really nice for like a cruise or something like that. And this pretty tassels and you know, the rhinestone embellishments. Can you see that? So it is really nice. It is in great condition. It is a size small. Let me see what material this is. I'm gonna guess silk, but I could be wrong again. Oh, it is silk, 75% silk and then 25% metallic lining and then polyester lining. So yeah, it is a silk Lily Pulitzer dress. And I did look these up and they retailed for quite a bit of money. So I'm hoping that I will do well with this. Don't know what I'll sell it for, but we shall see. I just found this yesterday, and at first glance, I wasn't quite sure. It looks like something that my mom had way back in the day. It's um, not a sheath dress. I what What is this called? Where it's just straight down. Maybe it is a sheath dress. But it dresses at this Goodwill. This was out of town. Um, this is one I don't get to go to very often because it's not really on the way to anything I typically go to. So I made a special trip to stop there on the way back from the American Girl store in Dallas because um, I took my daughter there on New Year's Day. They do a big promotional thing with the new girl of the year. Besides, Anyways, enough of that. I took her to get the new doll. It was her first American Girl doll in the store. So. Um, she was really excited and then we detoured on the way home so I could go by this Goodwill because I love this Goodwill and I found a lot of good stuff there and sold a lot of good stuff that I found there. And so um, I went and found like three items. This is one of them and it is an equipment dress. And I've had a, an equipment dress before but it was like a really small petite. So I like I ended up lowering or someone sent me a low offer and we countered back and forth and I let it go. I, I feel like I probably let it go for too cheap. I should have kept it listed high. I think I listed it for like 50. This one is like listed and sold comps anywhere from like 60 to 90. I even saw one for a hundred and something. Uh, the retail on this was like crazy and it's a silk and it's very soft silk dress and I think it's 
sold at Nordstrom. I could be lying. But it's just, I guess people really love this bright floral. And it's got daisies and petunias. And I don't even know what else. But it's really pretty. And I'm hoping if I could get $90 out of this, I would just be so, 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 so ecstatic on that. But yes, good find of the day. This here, I've, <laughs> I bought this at the Goodwill I got the other dress at. And they had this one marked a little higher at $6. It is a Mod Cloth brand, but I loved the vintage look. I, that's one thing I love about Mod Cloth is it has a, a really cool vintage look. But this is B and Dot by Mod Cloth, if you can see there. My dog is losing it. Um, size medium. And so really, really pretty spring dress. I think it'll be super cute this spring. Um, again, it has pockets. It's fantastic. This I also got, but I fell in love with this for myself. Sorry. This is HD in Paris, and it's a beautiful lace upper with this, like, chambray bottom buttons all the way down. It has pockets, and I had to wear it for, like, teacher training at the beginning of the year, and I've had this this whole time, and I just cannot seem to let it go. So I might have to keep it a little while. You know I love having a rotating closet. So some things I want to keep, but I don't I sell just because it's um, a good <laughs> return on the money. But this piece I just can't let go just yet. Might have to get another use out of it before I let it go. But it's so cute. Um, and I think I saw some of these sold for around 50 or 60 Same place. Another dress. I want to say, oh, an HD in Paris. So I must have paid $5 for this. Sorry, I'm jumping all around. I think I paid $5 for this. HD in Paris, I want to say, is Anthropology. And then this one is Maeve. It is a small and it's super cute. Or it was to say a six, four. So basically like a small. But it has this pretty gold dot. I love it. Um, I don't wear a lot of, you know, like small straps, spaghetti straps anymore. But this would have been totally my style back in the day. But it's such a cute, cute dress. Okay. Another dress. I found was um, Diane von Furstenberg, and this is actually the second time I've found this brand, but I haven't listed the other one because I had to get a stain out of it, and I just haven't got around to it yet, but it's a very pretty purple, um, kind of, or maybe even a royal blue. I can't, I'm, I'm bad with those colors. So maybe like a purpley blue and red animal print. It does have pockets. It does, um, oh wait, are they pockets? Oh, they're like faux pockets, but you can open it to make them pockets. Let's see what the fabric content on this is. It has a label for security and authenticity inside. Okay, it is 48% silk and 45 nylon and then seven spandex. Awesome. So. Very cute, fun. This could be, um, you know, I guess this could be worn in the office. I don't really have an office job that I have to dress up for, but with like a jacket to, you know, tone down the print a little bit. That's fun. I love this dress. This is um, Vanessa Virginia. Okay, Vanessa Virginia, and it is anthropology. Okay, um, but look how pretty this dress is. It's a size small. But I just think it's gorgeous. Look at that. Let me see what it's made of. I think it's silk. But I also saw not only are pleats becoming popular again, but also big, like flowy dresses. Oh, come on. There's got to be a... Ha, huh, here it is. Okay. Anthropology. But it is silk and pockets. It has pockets. So I think that's fantastic. And so I guess I paid $2.50 for it since it was on the half off rack. I don't know why someone passed that up. I love it. I think someone will love it. I have no idea what it's gonna sell for or what it retailed for. So we're gonna find out. Okay, this is soft surroundings as well. I, I kind of went back and forth on whether I was gonna pick this up, but I got it because it's an extra large and I thought it was kind of a fun way to have like the buttons or um, this kind of like little snap closure down the front and it's got like a brown suede detail and long sleeve and they're on the cuff as well. So, um, this Goodwill was the one out of town that I went to, um, that I got a few other pieces there. So I want to say I probably paid, oh wait, they had these half off. 
So I maybe only paid two fifty for this, or two twenty five, because I think their shirts are four fifty. So yeah, I think she only charged me half for that. Um, one thing I paid full price, but the other stuff was like half off. So yeah. Um, this also I got there. This is cloth and stone. I have one a, a cloth and stone top of my own that I love. But this one is really cute because it's just a pullover when it's not an all the way down button. So that's the reason I got this one. And it's long sleeves, size medium, and it's great. Love this material. I cannot remember if I've shown this in a previous haul, but this is like a Bowden button up. And I probably am not going to pick up a lot more button ups because I do have some in my closet and they're not moving very quickly. Um, but I liked this one because it had a fun print. It's got peacocks all over it. Again, thought it would be cute for the office, you know, with like a little jacket. Um, but yeah, I've had a fun one that had cats on it that looked like Grumpy Cat, and I sold that one. And then I have a cute, um, I think it's a anthropology one that has horses on it. It's a bright yellow. So I like the fun printed ones um, just because it adds a little something, but I don't know how much more I'm going to pick up. Okay, a couple of men's items for you. This is a Robert Graham shirt. If you couldn't tell, um, see the fun lining inside. This one is actually a little more toned down than some of the other ones, but there's his um, signature there. So my husband loves these shirts and I actually picked these up for him. And then he told me that um, he is going to do more muted colors. I don't know when he decided that because he has some loud shirts. So maybe I'm going to get those soon. But yeah, look at there, the cuff. I love his stuff. It's just fun and unexpected. But this does have a pattern in it. Um, it's very subtle, but it makes it a little bit nicer than um, just the regular shirt. This is a large. It says I paid $3.99 for these. So I know they don't sell for as much as they used to, but um, I still think it will be a good sell regardless. Maybe not in the hundreds like some of them have been in the past, but that one is still good. This one is a silk one though. This lavender, it's very pretty. You can see the inside there. It's an extra large. I think I paid $3.99 for this one as well. Yes, I did. Extra large. These buttons have kind of the mother, I don't know, like a mother pearl looking. Um, and then the cuff on this is more subtle. It's got like an embroidery kind of like design, a simple design. But this is a silk piece, and that's why I liked this one a lot. So I think that this might do well because it's very lightweight and silk and um, it's different than some of the others. So I actually have a lot more men's to list. I just have been focusing on the women's stuff lately. But okay, here is one of my favorite things that I found. And this was recent, maybe like last week. I haven't got it listed yet, but this is the first time I've picked up this brand. It is Moth, which is anthropology brand see and this says medium slash large but I would say that this is very very much oversized I tried it on myself and like I said sometimes I can wear smalls and mediums but this is extremely long um, and then I looked up the see how long the sleeves are I looked up the stock photo and even the model it was hitting her like mid hand in the stock photo so I think it's meant to be extremely long it's like it looks like almost like granny squares, but it's not squares, it's circle. But how fun is this? Long kimono, like afghan looking, very bohemian. It's just awesome. I absolutely love this. Um, yeah, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. So this was on a rack that they had just rolled out. And I, I saw it and I immediately was drawn to it just because of the pattern. And then I saw the tag and I thought, you know what? I think this is gonna do really well on Poshmark. I think this would be really, really great. Um, very boho, very cool, very different. There are a few listed and a few sold. Um, I'm gonna go high with this one. We'll see where it takes me, but I just loved it. Okay, I have a little bit more to go. I know this is really long, so I hope you sped me up. But look at these. First time to find Jack Rogers. And I know that these are maybe not the higher brand. Um, you can see I paid $4 because it's on the bottom. But they have the foam bottoms. But look, they were not even worn. And it's a smaller size. Um, so I guess a size 6. But they're brand new condition. So I didn't want to pass them up. 
super, super cute. Pretty, pretty blue and white. Um, I have some other shoes. These are um, Tahari, and I have no idea what resale value on, on these, but they were deeply clearancing out this thrift store. I liked the square toe, and I need to clean them up, but that's why I picked those up. And so they had them marked $5, but I, I paid like maybe less than two. These, look at these, another square toe. These are so fun. I picked these up and I couldn't find a lot on them, but look how cool. I just love vintage stuff and I could tell these were vintage. And Dana Broussard, let's see if we can get that to show. Very cool red patent leather. I mean, that's a statement right there. So I'm gonna keep those. These I've never picked up. This is Mark Fisher, cute little flats. And look, I don't think they were ever worn. Now they say $10 on the bottom, but I did not pay $10. So I think these were on sale half off. So I paid $5 at a thrift store, but very cute, kind of a like black and white stripe. They were a bigger size. So let's see. Well, it says seven and a half, but I tried these on because sometimes I can wear seven and a half and they were too big. And I have um, some pants that I was going to show you. These right here are um, just some little Sophie pants. I've actually had these listed on eBay and then I just took them down and retook pictures. Um, they're a, a small low rise, so I don't know if they're, you know, going to sell. Maybe somebody will bundle those, but I think they're really cute paint splatter. I also picked up some jeans. And um, this is free people. I, I, I haven't had a lot of luck with jeans, so I don't know that I'm gonna pick up much more. But I got these, these are a 29, which is a pretty good size. And I looked up comps for free people jeans and um, I, they're kinda all over the place, but I don't know the style. So I'm hoping that these are a good style because they are a, um, they're a decent rise. And they are a, um, I mean it says size W and 29, I don't know doesn't say the style number okay so I got those and I'm hoping to get around 40 for those if I'm lucky these are also a pair that was hanging in my husband's office that I had forgotten about and these are Joe's jeans and I wouldn't pick these up now like by the brand but they're cute look at the back pockets straight across but I think they might do well now because they're the wide leg and I know that's popular again. So I hope these do pretty good. I think they're really cute. And the size, 26. So it's a decent size, a little small. Okay, these, okay, these were great. Their stuff was on sale for, um, oh gosh, like super cheap. This is a thrift shop that has like super good prices. Typically their jeans are six bucks, but they may have been two or three this day. Um, this is vintage, but look at these. They're vintage Levi's, wide leg. It says size 18 is what they had them marked at, but look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these because they're vintage. Look at the stitching. How cool is that? And here's the little tag in there. But I just think that it's Super, super neat. Look at the back pocket. I think somebody would really love these. Of course, they're going to be a high rise and they are a bigger size, so I don't know, but I just thought they were too full to leave behind, so I had to pick those up. Another thing, this was kind of a, a sad day on this, but I found this tie, and it is Salvador Bergamo tie, and it's a, a pretty color and with the blue and like pink, but then it had this spot on it. And I thought, well, I'll buy it and see if I can get it off. And I think I paid $2, maybe $3 for this tie. Well, I got it home and I worked on it. And what I realized is it's actually bleached out. So whoever got a spot on it before tried to probably get it off and use something that discolored the tie. And so there was no getting this out because it basically has bleached. So this poor thing is ruined and going to have to go in the trash or, I don't know, redonate. I don't know who would want it, but very sad about that because I do like picking up nice men's ties and um, that used to be something I sold a lot when I first started on eBay um, this right here as I was checking out at Goodwill a couple weeks ago and a friend was with me we saw this in the little um, they, they put small clutches in purses right by the register to kind of get you as you're going out 
and we saw this vintage purse and I just couldn't leave it there. She was like, you have to get it. Look at it. It's a beaded purse and it's got rhinestones at the top. And the thing that we loved most about it, well, it says it was handmade and it says Walborg. If you can see that. Everything is so washed out. I'm trying to turn it down. There we go. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then inside it had this with the mirror and it says Walborg at Walborg or Barg at the top of the mirror. And it has a little note also. Kindly note, this bag is made of very fine beads and should not be exposed to strong artificial or sunlight. Intense light has a tendency to affect the delicate coloring of these beads. We cannot be held responsible for any fading. Okay, anyways, it's like a little note from the Walborg Corporation. And I just thought it was cool that it still had all this and it was in the little pocket. Um, and I was just in love with that. You know what I'm hoping? Because I do love picking up vintage stuff. I hope... I do have this on eBay and Poshmark, so I have it listed both places. But I'm hoping one day that I have something vintage that sells on eBay to like MGM Studios or something like that and ends up in like a really cool old show. How I've heard of that happening before and I thought how neat that would be. So I'm like hoping that ends up in some cool show. This is a really cute Sam Edelman French purse and comps were kind of all over on this. I saw some for really high and then some for a little bit lower, but still all of them were good. I actually carried it for a little while because I really liked it and it has this back pocket, which is like a perfect size for your phone. Um, and then the little inside pocket there, it's in good condition and you can wear it as a crossbody and it has like a braided strap. And I really like it, and I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about giving it up, but I went ahead and listed it, um, but we'll see how it does if it goes. If not, I'm keeping it. Another vintage Dooney. Now, I got excited when I found this, and I was kind of surprised Goodwill had it, like, out. But then I think it's because um, the condition is not the best, so they went ahead and put it out. But it, you can see, I went ahead and bought it anyways. I kind of debated on it, and I thought, well, somebody might want it. You can see the tassels are like shorter on some parts here. There's wear around the rim here. Okay, it does have the tag inside and all that, so it is authentic. And it's big and it's heavy and it's, you know, it's got that drawstring. People like that. And then um, it's got, it still has this. And see this has got somewhere where it kind of flops down. But, I mean, overall, the rest of it is, is in pretty good condition. And it was only $3 or $4 I paid. So I thought, why not? I'll try it. So my other one sold for $40. Bucks. It was a different style, of course, and in better condition. But if I can get $30 for this, I will be super happy. I thought it was cute. And I like the color of that one. So I went ahead and got it. Again, I debated on it a little bit. This little guy right here... He's super cute. Um, I've sold since he's several times, so of course I'm going to pick him up for $2. I'm going to have to get that off the tag. Um, he, I don't think he has a sense pack. No, he doesn't have a sensey pack in him. But um, the little giraffe, I noticed he had pretty good comps, so I got him. And of course that'll go on eBay, not Poshmark. This here was only $0.79. Cents. And I just, I love these serving bowls. I've got some different ones, um, leaf patterns of my, for myself. But I liked that this had all the different ones. And I thought about putting this on Poshmark Home because it is less than five pounds. And for 79 cents, I thought I couldn't go wrong. Um, and I could also use it. So I'm going to clean it up a little with some oils to, you know, let's see, make it shiny again. But yeah, it's still in good shape and super cute. And back in style again. So I think that's it. That was a lot. I know this video is super long. I hope you hung with me for all that time. Um, so I'm really excited for 2020 and what's to come on Poshmark. I am going to do a video of what sold my first year on Poshmark. Now my year of 2019 only started in May since I just started Poshmark in May. So May to December, like my quickest flips um, and the highest profit flips. And it's kind of what I would pick up again, what did really well and what I would probably pass on in the future in hopes that maybe that will help you if you're new and um, getting started on Poshmark. So thank you again for watching. I'd love for you to subscribe and um, 
hit the notifications if you want to see more videos of mine and I appreciate everybody. Have a happy new year.